spray. Woo -hoo. This is mine. I caught this one just now. Thank you very much. And what's going on everybody? Good morning. So some of those clips that you just saw were actually of my Uncle Jack back in the day here in Florida at legendary Lake Okeechobee. So it's gonna be a little bit too windy to get out on Okeechobee today, but we are only like 20 minutes south of there. So we're gonna be doing some Florida bass fishing. Hopefully catching some topwater fish. Here we go. Tackle, sprinkler frog, Lawson's throwing a what was it? Buzz frog. Buzz frog. James is in the back, ripping the spook. Looking for some top water Florida fish. It looks mighty fine, don't it? Oh, dude, this is like what I dream of every night. Oh my god! Did you just get swirled on. Dude. Oh, oh! Come on! Come on! <laughs> I'm about to put a Texas rig on. Let's see if we can keep the uh, bandito bug going. I've caught a fish in every state on the bandito bug. Why not? And of course we're going with Okeechobee crawl. Should work here. I'm gonna flip that around a little bit while these guys are working top waters. All right, let's try flipping a little bit. All right, buzz bait going down. Matt's on. Oh, nice, dude. That was quick. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Florida bass just going. Here we go. First bass of Florida. Bandito, Bandito bug again. again. That's fourth state in a row. Okeechobee crawl. Had to do that. See you, bud. I tried for some top water. Didn't have much action, so I threw the Texas rig on to flip around some of these pads. Real shallow up against the bank. Second bite. It didn't even hit it on the fall. Like it wasn't a reaction strike. It was just sitting on the bottom and I popped it once and I felt him eat it when it was just sitting there. These Florida fish, like, uh, they like the sun though. They like it when it warms up. They don't want to go smashing baits on top right now. They want to wait till the sun's up. Oh, I just casted right into one. You on there? Oh, Lawson's on. Written like a wild man at me. Check Good that out. Lord. That guy eating a 10 inch worm. <laughs> yeah, Florida bass, they will eat just about anything. Oh, James, my boy. James is on. Yeah, he's gonna have a hog. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a hog at first. James, what you throwing back there? Bandito bug? Bandito bug. There he goes. James just caught one on the bandito bug. First Florida bass? Hey, boy. Bandito bug again. My healthy little dink. Breakfast in the morning. James is going pro in 2020. Oh yeah. Gonna try something a little different. Giant seven inch Senko. Oh, I have a, there was a fish on there. I don't know if he's still in, thank Boy, you. You got an alligator. I don't know if that fish is still on there, but something hammered that Senko, dude. That was my Florida 10 pounder. I'm gonna try something black and blue. 
Honestly, I could be flipping this on braid, but it is what it is. They're like pretty shallow too. A lot of these fish we're seeing are like up on the yeah, bank. On the bank. But the bank's almost like a flat wall. Big, big. I think it's big. Oh, it's not that big, but it's decent. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Thought it was. Holy. A giant. Oh yeah, he smoked it. Damn, he crushed that beaver. Switched up to a double wide black and blue sweet beaver. Water's a little bit dirty, so I wanted to try something a little darker. These fish are pushed up on the bank, like behind the lily pads, which is really sick. Nothing huge. I think a lot of these fish here in Florida are spawned out, but it's still awesome to catch them like this. My favorite style of fishing. The water's super, super warm too. Oh, it feels good. Oh, I thought it was really big at first because of the swirl around the lily pads. Like after it bit, I was like, oh, that looks like big. Still a good fish though, not bad. Oh. oh. Black and Sorry. Blue. Like, Switching over to that black and blue seemed to get these fish going. Gets the people going. Oh, come on, get out of there. Oh, I think he got off. You know what? Let me try that frog. Froggy time. I'm going to put a slower frog on. Something just to sit there. Let him see it. Shades on. Frog on. thinking because these fish are so close to the bank I might be able to get them with something slow like this this is a jackal iobi they're so soft they're great like i feel like they just actually get killed so much more i agree i got this in um, like last march and i fished it all summer Lord, that was <laughs> there we go. That was so he smoked it too. Look at that. Speaking of the jackal Iobi, right? Red lips. Man, he smoked it. Frogfish. All right, that's what we were looking for. Little guy. But there is nothing more fun than a frogfish. Maybe a jigfish, but top water is awesome. Very cool. So basically I just threw this frog on to throw for a little bit to see if I could get any of these fish to eat on top because they're so shallow and pushed up against the bank. And actually looking now, the water right up against the bank is a little bit cleaner. And it's something I always look for when I'm fishing a frog is just clean water. I don't really like throwing them in dirty water because I feel like it's a pretty visual bait. So that worked out. I keep throwing this a little bit. Oh my gosh, Matt. That one's a little bigger. <laughs> frog time? Holy crap. Matt has whacked two fish and almost like three casts. Two casts later. That one's a little bit bigger. It's about two pounds. I'm so close to picking that Texas rig back up, but I know as soon as I do, you're going to get slammered and I'm going to have to switch back again. I can't. It's one of those situations, you know? Those two happen so quick, and then it's like, you know, slow for a bit. You had two eats real quick. And it's just like small spots of fish. Oh! Got him? Yeah, buddy! Woo! kidding me? Look at that baby. just got one on the frog. Oh, so impressive. There he goes. Hey, man. Fish is a fish. She's kicking now. All right, so we've been out for a few hours today and caught like probably five or six fish myself. James has caught one. Lawson, you've caught like two or three, right? Mm -hmm. Done pretty well on Texas rigs and frogs, but the wind's starting to pick up, so I think that that frog bite is 
not that great right now because of it. I usually like to fish frogs when the water's nice and calm and that just ain't happening right now. So we're switching over to Texas rigs again. Gonna be doing some more flipping and then we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna only maybe fish another hour or so and then we're gonna go back on a tarpon mission tonight because we've caught plenty of bass. A lot of this trip is gonna be bass fishing and there's not many situations where we're gonna be able to fish for tarpon. And we saw some big ones yesterday and I really wanna hook into one or just see either of these guys catch one. Yeah, at least another one hooked up and jumped. That was that, that was your first tarpon you ever seen too, right? Yeah. It's pretty epic. So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. But let's see if we can't catch one more big old Florida bass. Oh. Just had a little bite. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, I felt like that picked up and ran. Oh. oh my god, what was behind it? Did you see that? I think it was like a gar swimming around with it. That's crazy. Texas rig bite is back. I think a lot of these fish are just probably blown up into this bank because it's so freaking windy. James! There you go. There's number two, buddy. Yes! All right, last cast. That's it. Nothing on the last cast. We had some tarpon to catch, boys. Got him, got him. Oh, you just get whacked? Are we doubled up? Oh, we are going nuts right now. This is crazy.